Hello, Curtis. Hi, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here, doing two personal boxes for, for uh, Prestige World on breakers.tv slash Jaspi here on the 19th of October, a Wednesday. There's our uh, one of one kin. Maybe there'll be a one of one in here. So it's for good luck. All right, so good luck, Curtis. Thanks for grabbing these uh, personal boxes here. We don't have any more, Curtis. We've got to find you some other Star Wars for you to do. Oh, yeah. I owe Curtis two train whistles. I don't know what the first one... It was a sketch card, right? I remember the sketch card. What was the other train whistle I owe you? Were there two sketch cards? Prestige World? Why do I owe you two? I remember one, and I, you said there was supposed to be a second one. I don't remember the second one. Why don't I remember that one? Oh, they were the Ray, right. They were Ray and, uh, and Poe sketches. There we go, fine, fair enough. Well, Prestige World, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna totally mail it in and, and roll the two into one. So for the Ray and Poe one of one sketches, all aboard the Big Hit Express, but I give it an extra long train whistle just to just to double it up. All right, here we go. Star Wars Evolution. Sometimes we do non-sports here. We used to do a lot of uh, we used to do a lot of Marvel here. We've done a lot of Marvel. That was fun. We've done uh, some Star Wars. That was good. And here we are. There you go. It was extended so you feel compensated. It's this procedural. Excellent. Good. So Star Wars Evolutions, you'll see uh, you'll see images from the from the new movie, The Force Awakens. You'll also see stuff from uh, the the prequels, as well as uh, the animated series, which is really good, etc. etc. So you'll kind of see the uh, the the evolution, get it, of Star Wars. A lot of packs here, but once we start flying through these, we'll see them. Uh, one hit per box, I believe, or is it two? I forget all. I forget already. I don't know. There'll, there's some nice stuff in there. I think there's one autograph and then a uh, and then a relic. I think, at least from what I remember. But uh, I, as I was mentioning to Prestige World off camera, Curtis, I uh, I watched The Force Awaken Awakens again recently. Just not. Just over the weekend. And, uh... My judgment, it's still good. Alright, so we'll start off with a little, uh... Let's see if I can get a good focus right There's Padme. There's Mace Windu. Nice. Ask for a purple lightsaber from George Lucas. Got it. There's Ray, Count Dooku. It's from the animated series, which is actually pretty legit. Bib Fortuna, that guy's the one that goes Donawanga, right? Isn't he, isn't that him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he had to yeah. He's the one that wakes up Jabba. There's animated Lando. Yoda. And there you go. Nice, Sabine. Uh, I believe that's from the uh, animated series. So I guess it's the voice actress, Tia Sirkar. There you go. That's your first one. Curtis, you so you saw The Force Awakens twice in theaters, and that was it. 
How did you manage that? I saw it like four or five times in in in, in theaters. Pretty enjoyable. What's up, Will Driggers? You don't really understand Star Wars cards, is it? No, it's it's not a game. It's just uh, collectibles as you would normally do uh, with any other product. So there there there'll be autos there of the actors. Sometimes you can find like big name actors like this guy, like Harrison Ford. And then you just collect the the cards. You can build sets. There's low numbered cards. There's images from the movie. There's Chrome cards. There's different inserts. So a lot of lot of fun stuff pops out of here. Believe it or not, for a lot of card manufacturers, the non sports stuff tends to uh, doesn't sell as well as some of the. Um, or the non-sports stuff outsells sports stuff. So like Magic the Gathering cards, you know, those will outsell uh, most sports cards year to year, year over year. It's pretty insane. These are pretty cool. You can learn about lightsabers in the back here. Oh, what is this? Is this a lenticular? It is. Look at that. I am C-3PO. Human cyborg relations. There you go. We did a lot of uh, we did a lot of high tech. Tops does high tech Star Wars. So just like baseball and football, high tech. Well, they don't do football anymore, but high tech uh, baseball. We do high tech Star Wars, and the stuff out of there. You know, you, you pull like a red orbit diffractor out of high-tech Star Wars, that stuff would sell for lots and lots of money. It was crazy. Like, we've, there'll be like an Obi-Wan Kenobi out of five. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, uh, well, with the Star Wars cards, the values are tied to the fact that there's not too much... Uh, you know, I mean, really, it's the autographs that, that people want to sell, you know, that that that'll definitely have the this is 46 out of 50, Curtis, that will definitely be the one that sells the uh, that sells the best, you know, but like I said, out of uh, like like low numbered cards of Han Solo, you know, there are just enough Star Wars fans out there, Will, uh, Star Wars fans, Star Wars collectors that actually drives a big market. That's how big Star Wars is. And so, like I said, the high-tech Star Wars, if we did, like, if we pulled, like, an out of five, it would, uh, it would sell for, you know, hundreds of dollars. So a lot of hidden value in that. I don't know if I missed any numbered cards. I don't think I did, but... These are pretty cool. TIE Fighter right there. Excellent. Cool. So this was a neat box. Oh, this was the one you needed? Prestige World? Nice. This is pretty cool. I like this. And I dig this clone trooper. The Galactic Republic logo right here is also neat. 46 out of 50 on that one. And... Nice one right there. All right. But wait, there's more. Curtis did two boxes, ladies and gentlemen.
So we'll pop open all these packs first and we'll see what we can find in here. Curtis, is there something that you are looking for in particular? Anything else that you're looking for in particular? Well, how many console? No, I feel you will, but it's 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 uh, it's supply demand. You know, there's there's a uh, there's not too many Han Solo cards out there in the world, so to to collect them uh, would be would be kind of important. You know, to anybody collecting uh, sets of this stuff over the years. And so, Harrison Ford doesn't really assign a lot either. So when they're found in these sets, it becomes a really, really big deal. Like when uh, the new girl, uh, the new heroine in Star Wars, in Force Awakens, Rey, her autograph, that's Daisy Ridley, her autographs would sell for thousands of dollars when, when it was, when they first came out in the first top set, so. Yeah, it's pretty popular stuff. All right, now, there's, there's old Anakin Skywalker. I don't have a good Chewbacca impression, Curtis, so sorry about that. I think I noticed an, another lenticular coming up as well. There's Kylo Ren. I keep psyching myself out and thinking that some of these cards are numbered, but I don't think they are. I know these blue ones aren't. And I think that looks like the lenticular hiding right there. Uh, we need a little help on that Supreme football. It's been stuck at 16 for pretty much the better part of the evening. I think, every, I think everyone kind of uh, burned themselves out with that impeccable football. And there's our autograph. I do not remember her at all. Uh, do you know? Do you remember? Is she from Curtis? Where? Where? Where is this? Where is this one from? Mercedes? No. As Ristal Sant. I knew the other one. You need Leia, Chewie, and someone else for the lentics. Well, one of them's coming up. Here's uh, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi. No, I'm not going to say your name. This is not I'm not taking requests for shout outs. And your lenticular is nice. Leia. How about that? There you go. Young Leia, old Leia. Young Leia, old Leia. Nice. I think these were the ones, one of the ones that Curtis was looking for. Excellent. We've got Han Solo. Huh. I want to learn more. The, the, you can learn more about Dooku's lightsaber as well. Hmm. So you can learn about lightsabers. We've got Yoda, Jedi Order, Commemorative Flare patch. That's 46 out of 50 on that one. Oh, I guess maybe my face is too big. I wonder if I shrank my face a little bit there. 
There we go. <laughs> Kylo Ren's lightsaber, that's pretty cool. And TIE Fighter back there. And here's the last bits for Prestige World. <laughs> this kid this kid was terrible. I'm sure he's a nice kid, but I mean, that just that kills me. And Emperor Palpatine at the very end right there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, Curtis. So you got this little uh, stained glass look right there. We've got the lenticular here. This is one of the ones that uh, that Curtis needed, so that's good. And we've got the commemorative flare patch, Yoda. And this was the, your autograph that popped out of there. So there we go. Pretty solid, Curtis. Thanks for grabbing the uh, these two personal boxes from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.